Yeah, that's my brother. What's going on? Okay, that's fine. Does the traffic stop concern you? Okay, thank you. Well, I'm saying, what's You're going good? on with my you brother? Can here. You can film as long as you want. Just stay over there, okay? What's he pulled over for? He can explain it to you later. All right, folks, welcome back. This video includes the Burbank Police Department, and this comes from an Instagram account. I did ask the man if I can share the video, and he said yes, but I'm going to read to you what it says really quick. Hey, bro, this is wild, and they are clearly doing it purposely. If you need help knowing your rights, hit me up, or even San Joaquin Valley Transparency. He's got hella vids that can teach you how to deal with them because, one, they can't tell your brother to move or leave in any way that's public property on the sidewalk. They can't tell him to move, and they're servants of the city. If he asks what they're there for, they are supposed to answer. They abuse their power too much, bro. Just hit me up if you want to know more on how to deal with them. Thank you guys who are out there tagging me in these videos, sending me your videos, letting me know where all the police corruption is. You guys can also reach me at recordpolicenow at gmail.com. Send your videos there. All right, folks, let's get right to it. This is the Burbank Police Department. What do you mean? You can't explain it to me now? You're not involved in my traffic stop, sir. Just stay over there. Don't get involved. I'm involved. I'm his brother. So I'm saying, what is he pulled over for? Can you stand over here closer to 
I'm not, I don't want to get on their property. Okay, so, okay. Push so then just way. push back, okay? Can you, can you actually go past the car? Because we have no, we have no, we have no idea you uh, can release this guy. Huh? Can you go past the car? Past the car? What do you mean past the car? Yeah, can you go, can you, can you go stand over there? Like past, past where this car is at? Is there like a certain amount of footage I need to stand? Like, I'm not understanding. I'm just filming. Yeah, and I don't know what your involvement is, okay? Is no for your safety and for our safety. Are you related to this guy? Yes, that's my brother. Okay. And I have to film him. Okay, and that's okay. Yeah, I don't see how this is a normal traffic stop. Were you in the car? No. No, we live right down the street. So why you guys keep following me? Why you guys keep harassing me? Because I'm black? Only because I'm black. What's he like? But you're not telling me why he's pulled over. I asked why he's pulled over and no one tells me anything. I don't have to tell you everything. Huh? I don't tell you anything. You don't have to tell me anything? That's correct. Yeah. Well, because I'm black. Well, because I'm black. Yeah. Officer, can I step out my car? Ask him. Yes, I can. 
Ask him. Put a step up my car. Yeah, yeah, sure. If that makes you feel better, yeah. I can't go up to the corner. Oh, you're standing behind okay. me. Okay, so if you're not involved, just push that way. You can record all you want, man. Just let us deal with him. Okay. This is my brother. You guys don't even tell me why you pulled him over. He's just telling me you don't have to tell me anything. Like I don't understand okay. why you're being rude. Do us a favor and just push that way a little bit. You record all you want. Fair enough. Appreciate it. Thank you. I don't understand no, why you guys no are being rude. Like we're not, man. We just got here. He's being rude. No. I asked him. He's over here. Well, I don't know, have right? to tell you anything. What's, like, what's okay. Your name, okay. I'm, I don't have to tell okay, you guys so I guess anything. We won't tell you That's how it works, I'm asking why he stopped. So you could ask him later. Raise right, your brother. You could ask him. Okay, but I asked you guys, and I'm asking why he's being rude. Okay, I can't confirm that you're his brother, and I don't want to give him uh, the re your uh, personal reason, reason why. He over. told you he's my brother. But, uh, what do you mean you can't confirm it? Why? Because he's black and I'm not? No, everyone likes to talk about Yours. 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 All of those guys. I'll write it down for you. Right now. What was the ticket for? It's all the same on registration when I have the sticker in my wallet because I just got it from the DMV. And then he's trying to send my place, which is in the front window. All this for a front window ticket? Front yeah, license plate? Because I saw you turn around like what else? And a registration? You need 10 cop cars for a registration ticket? See what happens? Since ticket.
as you guys know a lot of videos are being sent to me every single day i am a little behind so don't be afraid to reach out to me again send your videos again i will try to catch up i did hire somebody else to help me so don't get discouraged if i haven't reached your video yet folks so this video comes to you from loading and that's the instagram account which is kind of funny for a name i think it's kind of cool actually and this dude's name is Axel Black, and he's actually a skateboarder. I think he's really good, actually. I watched a few of his videos. But people are getting tired of being targeted by police, folks. Sometimes they have nothing better to do. I heard a deputy recently say that there's more crime, so we need more police. I don't believe that more government is ever an answer or a solution to a problem. I definitely do believe that there are other things that we can do to actually help a situation for instance, in Detroit, a long time ago, a police department was defunded for not patrolling the area that they were getting paid to patrol. So the community came together and they started some type of community watch that protected innocent people. That organization exists to this very day and there still is no police department in that area. What does that mean, folks? That is an example of how the people can actually take care of themselves without an authority figure that knows nothing about the First Amendment, the people's rights, or even the laws. Let's not forget that the cops will be the first ones to tell you ignorance of the law is no excuse, but they will also turn around and tell you that they don't need to know all the laws, there's just too many of them in their books. That is Police Hypocrisy 101. I also like to talk about the policies that we can change so we can have better policing out there. Three of those policies are police unions, qualified immunity, and internal investigations. If we could throw those policies on the table, take a look at them, reevaluate and readjust those policies, I believe bad behavior in policing would drop tremendously and we can believe to have good faith again that there are good police officers out there because as of right now, nobody seems to trust police unless you're buying into the back the blue, blue line flag propaganda. Those numbers are dropping fast because people are waking up. With that being said, thank you all for tuning in. I'll leave the information for the police department in the description. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss our next video because the one we're working on right now is going to be a good one. All right, folks, we'll see you then. Peace.